A ball went through the air and created the equation of a parabola. Blank. This equation of the parabola. H is the height of the ball, so this is the height of the ball. D is the distance it traveled, so D is the distance it traveled. And we have three questions here. You could also think of this as Y, and these are X's. But in this situation, X is now D, distance traveled, and H is the height of the ball. So it says, what is the height? What, at what height was the ball released? So if you think about the parabola, remember this is the equation of the parabola, this is the distance the ball went, and the height. So this is just a picture of the ball flying through the air. And I want to know the height at which the ball is released. So if you think about, this is your y-axis, this is your x-axis, well, when it released, wouldn't that be when the distance is zero? That's a zero of distance. So how, if we, how do we find out the height at this point? Well, the height is the output, the y value. So if you hopefully think about it, isn't your distance zero right here when you release it? So d is zero, so can't you simply go to this function and plug zero for your distance? And 16 times zero is zero. Zero squared is zero. Zero times negative four is zero. So basically, your answer is 20. So it's 20 units high. So basically, this ball got released 20 units high. That could be 20 feet, 20 miles, depending on what units we're dealing with. That's when it was released. Now, you could also think of this as a y-intercept, because that is the, where it crosses the y-axis. And uh, if you think of the y-intercept, um, it's always going to be the number by itself, because these always disappear. So this is really asking for a y-intercept in a word problem. Number two, how far did the ball go? Well, if you think of how far the ball went, well, you're thinking about this is the ball going through the air. Remember, this is time zero. How far it went, well, aren't you going, not time zero, sorry, this is distance zero. Well, isn't the, the end distance? Well, five units away, it looks like, but let's look. So this is the end distance. Now, this is the distance negative, meaning back, be kind of behind. Basically, negative don't really exist, but you might helps to see it visually. So let me, let me start over. How far did the ball go? Well, if we want to know how far it went, we're talking x-intercepts, where the graph crosses the x-axis. Because we want to know from distance 0 to distance what when it hits the ground. Because, by the way, the height of when it hits the ground is 0. See, height is 0. Anyways, so let's find this dot. The way we do that is we set our function equal to 0, because we want the height being 0. So if I want my height being 0, I then divide everything by negative 4 to make my equation easier, because I noticed negative 4 goes into all of those. That's a good thing to notice. When I do that, I now have d squared. That becomes a negative 4d. That becomes a negative 5. I then rewrite this so that it's in standard form, a, b, c. And then I solve this. Now, what's nice is I could actually factor it. You might have to use quadratic formulas to solve it. But this one's factors. Remember, this goes on top. This goes on bottom. It becomes a negative 5 and a 1. When you solve it, you get 5 for this one and negative 1 for this one. As you can tell my picture, this is negative 1 and this is 5. Now, negative 1 doesn't matter because you can't have a negative 1 distance. That means backwards, if you, if you think of that, because we released it here. This is going backwards, so that one really doesn't matter for the problem. But this one does. It's saying distance of 5. So when is the height 0 or when did it hit the ground? At a distance of 5 units. So again, when you're talking about how far to go, you're talking about x-intercepts. And x-intercepts are where the height is 0 or y is 0. This one was y-intercepts. It's when your x is 0 or your distance is 0. Last one, how high did the ball go? Well, how high the ball went, well, if you think about this parabola again, how high is, well, this point right here, and that's called your maximum height. And the max, that is called your vertex. The maximum is your vertex. So basically, this is saying, find the vertex of the graph. And that tells you how high the ball went. So how do you find the vertex? Well, you do negative b over 2a. All right. Remember, this is your function right here. I change it to y equals um, a standard form with y's and x's, just to make it easier on myself. Because, I mean, d's and h's, x's and y's, same thing. So when I got to here, I went, OK. Um, I got to do negative b over 2a, so I did the opposite of 16 over 2 times negative 4. See right here? Opposite of 16 over 2 times negative 4. I get 2. So at distance 2, it's at my highest point. So my highest point isn't 2. That doesn't make much sense. 
the, at two distance, it's at its highest point. So how do you find this actual height? Well, don't you simply plug two in, right here, here, and here? So when you plug two in, you do all the math, you get 44 units high. So this ball went, if this graph depicts the ball travel, it went 44 units high. That's the highest point, the maximum height. So for this problem, we're asking for the max, the vertex, the y value of the vertex. This question asks for x-intercepts, because it wants to know how far it went. And this one asks for y-intercept, because it wanted to know where you released it, where it started.